and I was like, one minute I come out here looking like a homeless person, and then the next time I look fine as hell. I'm going to talk about why I'm deciding to pack my shit up and move. And the sooner I do it, the better. I'm a Sagittarius, Gemini moon, and according to my mom, based on the time I was born, Cancer rising. I've always been like super smart, like always smart, but I'm just not good at sticking to one thing. The best job for someone like me to do is something that allows me to move around a lot because that's just how I am. Like I remember even growing up, like I went to school because like I had to do that. I went to bed early so I could like get enough rest, wake up, go to school, love school. I mean, who doesn't? School in the Caribbean is the best. I mean, you have so much fun with your friends within, like, periods. Like, I miss my childhood so much because of my adventures to the point that I'm dreaming about it. Like, even last night or this morning, I was just having, like, a weird dream of all, like, my classmates from school. And I feel like that's that's interesting. It's just like I've worked so many places and there's nothing wrong with working because, you know, you get paid, but I need more than that. That's not enough for me. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the plan. I'm not going to let anyone discourage me. Like, I literally just posted that I'm moving to Jamaica and some rando was like, I'll be back i'm canadian there's no way i'm not gonna come back to canada i'm not moving permanently to jamaica i'm starting in jamaica and seeing where everything takes me i can't i realize that i can't ask people for advice because people are just gonna project and tell me to do the safe thing life is never safe it's like you're here today you're gone tomorrow like economically you know, it's just, you could have a job, then lose your job. You could have a job, lose your legs, you can't work anymore. So, I'm just giving myself a chance while I'm young and beautiful. Imagine, like, I decided, oh, I'm going to work for five years. And then it's like, in five years, I'll be 32. That's not bad. But still, it's better to do it now while I'm in my 20s then do it later on it's like later on you know it's like okay if it didn't work which it will because i'm not gonna do that this is going to work because it's like what i like to do i just, you see it's really always like people that put someone called me it's really just people that put fear in your heart and in your heart in your mind that make you not do stuff like i have so many pictures of the ocean with the sun because I love a sunset. I love a sunrise. I mean, you can't miss that in the Caribbean. So, I'm a Caribbean girl. And I miss life. If I move back to Grenada, where, like, I know everybody, what's going to happen is people are going to look at you like, what are you doing? You're Canadian. You should be in Canada. But anyone who's been here for long enough know that it's not a bell of roses. Personally, I don't really have any f actual friends. Like, there are people that I know. I have friends, okay? Most of my close friends are guys. But men are different. They're always just focused on being on the hustle. I need tea. Anyways, I got this package from calling me. And I don't want to talk. This is really heavy. These are, this is new clothes that I got. This cost me probably almost $400. And I'm going to get my money back. So, okay, here. I'm excited to try these She Glam lip glosses. But there's a lot. There's a concert that I'm going to. The Burner Boy concert. So this like cute little bag I got. And like I got stuff to wear. I hope none of these things are too big. Because that would be annoying. Ooh, 
this is cute. I know what I ordered, obviously. Um. Okay, fuck the Shein bag. But yeah. It's scary for me to do this because it's not like I have family. Like, I have my family back in Grenada and stuff. But it's not like I have anybody rooting for me. I have a lot of connections. I know a lot of people. But even these days, people are selfish. When you decide to, like, take a chance on yourself, especially people look at you weird because... Maybe because they don't have the guts to do it. I don't fucking know. I just know that I did what I had to do. I started going to University of Toronto. I did that. I finished by myself. I paid for it by myself. And these are things that I've been doing. And I'm not on here to like... <sighs> explain myself too much. It's just like, I believe in me. I believe in what I can do. It's just the fact that like... I've been around people that are so pessimistic, you know, like, just, as soon as you say something positive, instead of being positive back, because it's like, if you're positive to me, I'm not, I'm going to be inspired, like, I'll be like, wow, that's wonderful, that's beautiful, you should do it, I see people traveling around the world, and it's just, the only thing I think is, like, is it safe? Because you know on the the news they try to make it seem like everybody's so everywhere is so bad and Canada and the US is the only safe place. The only slavery place where you have to go to work every day. Yeah. So I'm just going to be on this journey. Rock with me. Like, subscribe, share gossip about it whatever it is we need to do we need to get the engagement up you know and life i'm giving myself after just like being so frustrated and stressed by getting an education <laughs> only to you know what's the most hilarious part is like you do all of that and then you're like best university in all of canada i'm getting a job right away it's like you apply to all these places and you can't even get a call back on the flip side on the in my in their defense i don't want to anyways so people just keep calling me also it's february 7th happy independence to all my grenadian people grenada is the most beautiful island from the beaches, the rivers, the foods, the people. Big up y'all selves. Don't let nobody come and take your peace away from you. Because a lot of people are running away from the environment that they create. You know, a lot of these people, I mean, if you know, you know, are coming to our places. Don't let them have power over you. Continue to be strong. Continue to eat your local, good, delicious food. Don't let them bring all these junk for you guys to be eating this Popeyes and KFC don't bring it fight against it what makes you what makes us us is what we love to do our local spices local food remember that and don't let like they're trying to change everything don't let them change us so I just wanted to stop by saying that we need to fight to remain authentic period Happy Independence and...